look at what we have so this I still have these but I'm not gonna do these until I do that I'll do that whole block at once and what I might do is I kit up and I shouldn't have because I'm not fully ready so let me <laughs> oh, you gotta love that. You gotta love that. So, here's my bag with all the beads inside. And then I'm keeping lost beads, extra beads there. And then here are all the beads out. Probably going to be every color. So normally I don't lay them all out. But let me do that. Here's my. My little safety stand. So I'll put some of these out here. Now you don't have to do this for all of it, but I know for me, I'm having such a phenomenal time with all the different colors that I'm enjoying. Oh, look at that, do you see? That's that heli thing that I talked about. You don't have to lay these out. I know for me, I'm planning on about a three-hour block of time. So I want to... Take, this is like a, more of a confetti piece. And so I want to take out all the different colors so that um, I have them. And then in here, because I'm working on getting organized, I. I have all the information, can you see that? All the information about this piece. However, when I went to make a link and I went to my orders from Amazon, it was no longer available there. So I guess they're really working on that whole buyers, you know, f missing out thing. So they make sure, that's a weird color. I'll have to double check that that's correct. Okay, so let's get some of these done. So, I know I'm going to want some eyes. I'm going to want some W's. I'm going to want some R's. And some bees. There are things to do down there. These are going to go away. These are not helpful to me. And there's gum. What if one day we all of a sudden. Oh! What if all of a sudden one day we did a diamond painting with gum, chewing gum. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny. Can you imagine how some people might absolutely love it and some people would want to kill you about it? That's just too much. Okay, so we have a lot to do in the eye. In the, I normally prefer, let me lower this. What is going on? There you go. So maybe what I'll do instead is I'll raise it like that. And then I'll clip it there. How's that? As long as the plastic's not covered up. And then what I want to do 
here is I don't like having dog hair on the side of the piece. And so I am going to Zubies in here first. So I usually always keep the bag right nearby. Oh, it's a little too much. The reason it's too much might be, I think, one of the tricks is actually having a lot. But for me, one of the issues I have is I hit things sometimes and I, um, I bump into things and I've lost items in the past. I'll end up transferring to this when I'm doing oh dark colors because I want to, that's a lot, but I think that's black and if I lose black, I'm okay. I have bunch of black from other paintings that I've had. Oop. We're doing the panda today. We're just getting ready. Getting. Getting. What do you think of that? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. So I've been thinking of video ideas. And if you have any ideas, put them in the comments below, of course. Where's my tea? There's a T. Seems. I think that's enough colors out, don't you? Yes. I don't know what you can see and what you can't. Let's just take a look. All right. I would say good enough. Oh. I would definitely say good enough. All right. Let's load up a bunch of our pens so that we don't have to. See what I mean? Sometimes you bump stuff. And grab. <laughs> that has white on the end, but I'm going to see what happens with, oh, this one's going to be a, an important, and then I use the desk to the side. everybody's day. What are you up to? Are you learning new things? Is this your break from the day? So R. Put in 
D for dog. So we'll see how this goes. So, how was everybody's day? Are you doing what you love? Are you taking a mental break? Do you watch these for videos for insight, for relaxation? How does this video work in your world? I know for me, somebody ended up saying something about, there's the, somebody ended up some, saying something about what, you know, doing crafts with a friend or having time with a friend. And I thought about that and I thought that is true. I used to, I learned how to knit. I was telling this story earlier. I learned how to knit and I went to a really fancy, or you would have thought it was a fancy store in Beverly Hills at the time. And the woman was so nice and she said what's most incredible is you work on something absolutely beautiful while you get to know people. And she said, if you want to get your knitting done, you can get your knitting done anywhere you want to go. But if you want to come in here, if you want to sit down in the store and be uh, talked to or left alone, whatever it is that you want for yourself. Hey, sorry about the head thing. She said, We're, you can do that here. What? I didn't. She said, yes, why don't you come on in? You're going to learn. And so it would be really good when you're first learning to... <coughs> that's V. Or I don't know if I should be saying the letters so much or if that throws anybody off when they're working at home on theirs. If you're, if you're working on yours with me, if you're crafting with me. <coughs> She said, come on in, because that way you can just work on your piece. And if you have a question, we'll be here for you. I said, really? She said, yeah. She said, don't worry. You, we have wine and <laughs> water, and you can <coughs> work on your piece, and it'll be a really good experience to get to know people, but also if you want to sit in silence, you can. And I thought, oh my gosh, that sounds like such a nice idea. And, and I, you know, I said, any other tricks? And she said, yep, absolutely, there are tricks there. We have constant tricks that we'll teach you. Um, and she said, one of the things that always made her scarves really nice is she used three pieces of yarn. She would mix, knit, knit three pieces of yarn together. And it was going to multi, but I don't think so. I think I like it a little bit more centered like that. She said, I always mix yarn. She said, doesn't matter if you think it'll go well together or if it doesn't. And she lined up three pieces. She said, name, pick any pieces, any piece of yarn you like. And she showed me them together. And I was like, you're right, they do look good. She said, yep, yeah, because your brain is the constant theme. And because you're only making it for yourself, you'll be fine. And so, all I know how to knit is a scarf. That's it. I had no desire to learn how to knit any more than that because um, that's just, that was just what it was for me on that. And I traveled for the first time internationally for pleasure about 10 years ago. And I went to 
Edinburgh, Scotland, Edinburgh, uh, the boroughs, Edinburgh, Scotland, and then I went to the Orkney Islands, oh, which were amazing. I found out about the Orkney Islands from watching a travel channel, and they have, it so happened that the summer I went was the same summer that the archaeologists that were there, that go there every summer, found paint on walls for decorative purposes. They have stones, is kind of like we know, you know, is more popular Stonehenge, but theirs are a thousand years older. It's Scarbray. I stayed at an Airbnb, at a, a bed and breakfast, and absolutely adored the couple that had the bed and breakfast and it so happened that the bed and breakfast owner's cousin owned the am I in the shot? I don't know. Owned the I love to look at this footage. Owned the yarn store in town. And when I was traveling, I so I went to Edinburgh, Orkney Islands, Rome, road trip through Basel, Switzerland for uh, a few days to go to Berlin, which was incredible. And then, um, what happened after that? After Berlin, I, I took the train to some parts of a, pla a little place in near a airport outside in France and I stayed in a town because I have short hair and I wanted to get my hair cut and there was the restaurant owner happened to be a chef so the food would be great and then came home so anyway on that trip I bought yarn from all the different locations and when I got home I put all the yarn out for my friends and they all I made them all choose three yarns for them to get their scarves made from and I ended up making scarves for my friends with the yarn that they chose from the yarn that I bought during my trip so that when they had their scarf it was custom made yarn that they liked that I had approved. <laughs> it was really cool. Years later, one of my friends, I was over and he was wearing a scarf. I thought it was really neat. And my friend Tina, I haven't spoken to her for years. I love her so much. So I did call her during the a Dallas Viking game because she's a big time Viking fan. But I went to her house years ago, maybe seven years ago, so I guess it wasn't as long as I thought. And her kid, she has three children, amazing kids, and um, remembered me from scarves that I made for them. I was so touched. I get, I get touched by things like that. Mmm. Oh, look. So, what we could do with the A's if we wanted is, this is not, this is that bent tray. Oh, well. See, let's see. Okay. I hope I'm, my head's not in the shot. I'll have to see if it is. Let's see. Sometimes I like doing multiples, and other times, mm, I don't, it does sometimes depend on how lucky I am with these less expensive trays. I know there are bigger trays and things like that, but financially, there's no reason when the kit comes with everything that you need worry about buying all the pieces right now for 
for me, I would rather enjoy the process and play and get to know the fundamentals. <coughs> I was listening to a YouTube video, obviously. You can tell from my stories I'm addicted to YouTube. It's my main form of entertainment. I love learning or zoning or supporting or um, just I like the YouTube platform very much. Hmm. You know I'm relaxing when I start telling a story and can stop and have zero bother or concern for finishing that story up. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to do that. So let me show you, since I have a lot of longers, longers, <laughs> rows, whatever you call oh. It's a little bit nicer. Mm. Let's get some of the... A longer beat, a longer row done. He's here again. Hi, baby. Look, I love you so much. Oh my goodness. Look at that. An hour, an entire hour went by. Let me pause you and take a break with the dog. See you in a little bit.